Hello guys, welcome to part two. Um, where I left you last in part one, um, we were just arriving at Busk Reservoir. Uh, it's quite late in the afternoon, so um, we'll see what I got up to. I don't, the thing is, I don't want to be um, contravening any... Um, oh, we'll park in here, this do. Parking restrictions or anything, you know? Might say no, no overnight stopovers. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't because I'd very much like to stay here tonight. Anyway, as you can see, it's very nice. So let's get out and see a bit more of it. We're at Ask Reservoir. You can hear, probably. Hopefully you can. Right. Usk Reservoir, look, beautiful. Wow. I'll tell you what, it's so peaceful. It's lovely. It's so peaceful. There's, um, there's Sammy there, look. <laughs> I was talking with spending the night here, but I don't know whether I should or not. I don't know. So there's a house over there. House over the other side. See? So, probably won't bother. Ah, hope you guys can hear all right. Um, it's pretty windy. Actually, yeah. I guess I could, I could stay here. I don't know. <laughs> 1955. Look, and it's even got some dedicated seats to sit on, look. I think this is a new sign. This is a new sign. This isn't the sign that used to be here. Oh, August 1955. That's the green. Right, right, Duke of Edinburgh. Whoopee. Reservoir Bounty, County Borough of Swansea. Mm. Oh, that's a picture over there. Let's go and have a look at that. It's a good place to stop and uh, go cycling around here because you can cycle around the whole reservoir. Wow. 1950. Five years then. Oh, if there's any small villages underneath. <laughs> this is all new. Oh, this has all been redone. See this down here? Look. They've put a new bridge in here. This is a new bridge. And um, they've put all... The, this is all new as well. Looks like they've only done that recently, doesn't it? I don't think there's anything wrong with the old one, was it? Oh. Obviously was. They've reconcreted it, look. Look, they've um they've con oh look, they've put all that along there. Oh perhaps it was slipping away, look. So and they've re um reconcreted all the way down to re strengthen it. Oh, don't know what that was for then. Perhaps it wasn't strong enough. Dunno. Well, it was pretty much, um, well, it was like this. It was like this all the way along. So it was a, uh, you know, with the um, outshoot, is that what they call it? The outshoot bit down over there. I can remember there, um, when this is raining now, in the winter, because I've been here in the winter, when the water's going down that, um, that offshoot over there, and it really pours down. <laughs> it really, really pours down. I thought they had some sort of hydro thingy down there, but I can't remember now. I thought they put something in. Um, 
you know, some hydroelectric thingy. Well, perhaps it didn't. I thought that's what that was down there. It's quite windy now. Oh, you guys can hear all right. Ellie, can you stop pulling me, please? Sorry. Oh, it's Sammy over there, look. Oh, what a beautiful lake. Is it nice? Look at that. Yes, it's um, it's not low, low. The sun's not low, low, but the sun, the water, <laughs> the water's not low, low. But uh, it's not at its highest. So if we get a drought this year, I think um, I think we might be in a bit of trouble. <laughs> Is it my imagination? But it looks like it's leaning away. I think this is slipping away. I reckon that's why they've put all this stuff in. Stop pulling! You look along the wall, look. It looks like it's... You look, it looks like it's leaning out that way. Doesn't it? And down there, look. There's a couple that are sort of... Like that. See what I mean? <laughs> get pulled again stop yes they've um they've put a lot of stuff behind it look at that down there they've brought in tons and tons and tons of rocks and stuff i guess to support it all <laughs> maybe it was slipping a bit then i don't know i know it's very um it's very popular with fishermen down here. You get, um, you get a lot of people fishing around. Because you, you can walk, you can walk around the whole thing. It's got, um, it's got like tracks that you can walk all the way around. I think it's about five miles. There was, um, there was a notice board. There was a notice board up there, but go back. You can have a look. Yes, there was something down there, look. There was a building down there. Can you see the remains of it? I think it was some sort of hydroelectric y thingy. Um, where does the river go? There's no river. They've put this offshoot down here to go into a river to go whoosh all down here and it don't go anywhere. I ah, don't get that. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yes, um, you might not get to hear any of this because it might be too windy. Hopefully you can. Actually, there's, there's, um, there's a distinct lack of birds. There's a couple of um, there's a couple of geese over there. What's in here then? Nothing. Oh, nothing in there. What well, else you need of then? Probably to open up some extra gates or something. Yeah, very nice. It's a lovely, lovely bit of glistening water in it on the um. No, it's the sun. Lovely bit of glistening sun on the water. That's what I meant to say. So many people having a picnic over there, look. <laughs> I think there's a parking meter. There's a, you can see where those boats are over there. Well, behind that, there's a little shed. And I'm pretty sure there's like a parking meter. I think you're... Um, I think you're supposed to pay for your fishing permit or something. You might have to pay for parking, I don't know. You might have to. It might be parking, I can't remember. Well, I'm hoping... Um, 
I can stay here till the sun gets a bit lower and I'm hoping to get some photos. Um, I may not stay there tonight because um, it, I do look like a little bit of a sore thumb stood sat there, don't I? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I think I might get a bit of a knock in the night. Plus I'm, in, I'm right out in front of that house there that can see me. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway. Right. had my tea and very nice it was too. Um, I've got the uh, DSLR so let's go and get some b-roll. We're out again. No idea if this is working or not, hopefully it is. I've, um, I've just got you on a selfie pole. This Sammy. It was a bit, um, it was a bit windy to, uh, to carry the GoPro. Ellie's pulling, sorry. Look at that lovely view. Is that beautiful or what? Hopefully it's picking it up. I don't know um I don't know where I'm even in focus or not. There's um I've got the hairy thing on the camera. Come on. I don't know if I should be in here or not, really. God, it's beautiful here. It's really beautiful here. I think there's a picnic area up there. I've got um, I've got a flask of tea in my pocket. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go up there and have a look. really nice in here there's um there's more picnic tables just over there wow <laughs> beautiful look what i've got no it's not alcohol it's tea <laughs> oh now i'm spilling it all that's because ellie's pulling my lead mm. Cheers guys. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Mm. Now the thing is, do I stay here tonight or do I move on? I can't decide. <laughs> All I need to do is look and I'm thinking I'd really like to stay here. Um, the thing that's putting me off is there's a house right at the other end. I don't know if you can um I don't know if you can see that. Is there, there well I'll put a bit I'll put a picture up. But there's a there's a house at the other side of the um the dam there. And uh, it looks straight across to the car park. Um, not that I'm worried, because I, I, um, it's not as if I'm getting up to anything. But because I'm a big white van, I'm wondering. I don't want to get a knock in the night saying, "Can you please move on? You can't stop here," and all this sort of stuff. You know. Anyway, fingers crossed. Batteries going so. Um, I expect I'll see you guys in the morning.
Hello. I decided to move on. Um, it's very, very beautiful here. And I would love to spend the night here. But um, it feels a little bit too secluded. Plus that house over there as well. Because I tend to try and hide a little bit out the way. So um, I'm heading to a lay-by that I know of. Which is um, a few... Well, I, I roughly know of it. <laughs> I only know of it because I found it on the... Um, I found it on the map. Right, let's go. You're right, Els. Ready to chop? I've left my cooker up, so that'll probably go bang in a minute. <laughs> Never mind. Right, let's do a UE. Do a spinny roundy here. Um, hold on. I've just found out I've got. Five hundred meters. Turn right. That's a funny voice, isn't it? I've heard that one before. A five hundred meters, turn right. <laughs> right, off we go. Beautiful sunset. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Um, I've head got to head east. Okay, I've got a few miles to cover. Um, Tomorrow, about another hundred or so, about 120, which it doesn't sound a lot, but I'd like to um, pull over in a few places to get out, take Ellie for a walk, and um, like show you guys around a little bit as well. So, um, I thought that would be the point tonight, you see. I thought, well, if I'm heading off now, hopefully you can see me on the Hero 3. Um, if you can't, I do apologise. Um, we've got a half an hour drive now. Get to our next place. And um, we're going to park up there for the night. <laughs> Why have I got different voices on my sat nav? Well, it's not, it's Google. Take the next right. Take the next right. <laughs> it's quite amusing actually because um, I've never had that before. I've never had different um, voices like that. Oh, seven miles. <laughs> I'll try not to keep repeating myself. I do apologise. Um, really, it's just to give you a bit of a drive, really, before we park up for the night. I'll, um, I'll show you that campsite as well on the way because um, we'll go through that look at the view why would I want, not want to come here look at it, it's beautiful isn't it it's so nice why would I want to go in a lay by I must be stupid seriously stupid yeah there's somebody there already look Let's see them there in the car park. They're probably going to spend the night in the car park there, look. Yeah. <laughs> now 
this is Wales, you see, beautiful. Look at this. Is this beautiful or what? Wow! Wow! Beautiful! I was going to park there, in that car park. That's actually changed quite a lot since last time I was out here, because um, there was a lot of woodland over there, and uh, unfortunately they failed a lot of it. So that car park that's actually there now, is now out in the open, which it wasn't before. Um, if you look on Google Street View, um, you'll see that the, the trees are still there. They haven't, um, they hadn't felled them. And when I looked on Street View, I thought, yeah, what a perfect place to park up for the night. You're not seen by anybody and you're just parked in the car park out of the way. But um, unfortunately, um, I looked on the satellite image as well, which was more up to date than Street View. And uh, unfortunately, they'd cut them down, so. <laughs> Never mind. This is so nice. Look at it. Beautiful. I'm glad I came along here before it got too dark. Because obviously you've got sheep walking across the road and God knows what else. Look at it. God, it's beautiful, isn't it? birdies yes it truly is a beautiful part of the country here it really is this is one of my favorite spots there's a uh, wild ponies there I don't think there's any parking along here. But you can get um, get passing places. But, um, I'm not venturing off the road if I can at all help it, because I know you get stuck. <laughs> I know Martin from House Just Not Homeless has uh, unfortunately done that. <laughs> He's done that a few times and got himself stuck or knocked his sump plug loose or something like that. So um, I'm not venturing there. <laughs> That's a nice little place. I suppose you could put... No, you wouldn't put there. you get stuck. quite so quiet um, but at least it means I can get when I get up in the morning I can get off I can get on to where I need to be and uh, if I can get over to St David's reasonably early in the day then I've got the rest of the day to take you guys out and about and maybe we can explore a little bit more you know walk maybe walk down to the beach or something Basically, the idea with this video, well, for me, is to make a video for you guys because um, thanks to the Patreon supporters, thank you so much if you are a Patreon supporter and you're watching, um, it's made this video possible. <laughs> well, basically, it's given me some funds to be able to go out and make some videos. And uh, that's what it's all about, because um, unfortunately I don't make a lot of money on YouTube and uh, it doesn't pay very much. 
so it's uh, it's not giving me the funds I would like to make better videos and to get out like this because um, obviously if I can't get out like this then I can't make videos for you people so that's how it works Here's the pub here, look, in the front. This is, um, yeah, I can't remember what it is. It used to be, this field here on the right used to be for the, the camping field. Oh, for use of caravan club. There's nobody in there. My God, it's empty. Oh, there's nobody in there. This is the field we used to camp in. Oh, it's got sheep in it now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the other camping field is, but um, yes, you could do a circular walk round here. If you turn right here, you can go for a walk round the uh, round the block. But beautiful place, um, really, 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 definitely worth visiting. And it's the uh, Black Mountains Caravan Park. Um, if you want to come to this part of the country, which I highly recommend because it's very nice, um, there'll be a link in the description down below. Right, I'm going to shut up for a little bit and uh, let you enjoy the ride because I don't even know if you'll be able to see me now because it's getting dark, so let's carry on. So glad I brought you guys with me. I really am. Oh, there's a sheep out there. Where's he come from? How'd he get out? Oh, another one, Mr. Lamb. My dear little lamb, how'd you get out? Go on, you go back in your gate, the little monkey. He's crawling out there, little bugger. <laughs> I reckon the farmer's coming round for tea. <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh, the little lambs, aren't they? Lovely. Bless them. They're all waiting by the gates. So uh, I think the farmer's due. I think he's probably going to have his tea and then he's going to come out and feed them. <laughs> oh, red sky at night. Shepherd's delight. <clears throat> a shepherd's delight already if you live out here. Lovely and beautiful. Oh look. Cool, oh, that's a, that's got expanded. Blimey, a few more people passed away since. It's an old um, church or something there. Mm, don't like 
do with soft verges. Don't like those. Soft verges. Lots and lots of sheep. drop the sump on this and fit a new oil pump very very tempted because um, when you put her under load she gets very very tappy at the top end because she's not getting enough oil pressure the thing is would it make any difference you know I mean the mileage that she's got I mean she's on a she's on 181,000 miles now you what are you thinking guys i hope you're enjoying it because i am blinking beautiful yeah what do you think do you think i should fit a new oil pump i don't know how involved it is which is i want to put a petrol engine in but the thing is i ain't got the money to do that come on little birdies if I had the money, if I had the money, I would, I would build a um, petrol engine. But I don't have the money to do it. Um, like I said, if if I had the money available, then um, I'd build an engine and do some videos on it. I'd build how to build your own transit engine. You know, but um, I don't have the money available, so I can't. Oh, Ponto, whatever she said. <laughs> I don't know what she said. Oh, I so wish I had more time over here. I really do. I'm really enjoying this. I could really get out and about round Wales. Nice river down there. It looks dried up, actually. Ponto, Lekai. Oh, no, no, it's down here I walked. Cottage, what a lovely little place, isn't it? Um, I think we're going to Landovery. No, Landovery is over that way. Can't remember now. But that road on the other side of the river over there does actually go back round in a loop, a big loop, because I've walked it all from that campsite. We were staying in a. Um, we were staying in the static at uh, Black Mountains Caravan Park and I walked all the way out to here and then uh, walked all the way back. So it, you can do a loop if you follow all the little roads but it's, um, it's a bit involved. Are you alright if you've got a map? Possibility. Nice woodland up in there. Probably gated. Um, like I say, a little bit off the beaten track. Maybe it's, um, I think, if it's somewhere you know, I don't think it's so bad. But if it's somewhere I don't know, then I'd sooner opt for a lay-by. Uh, I mean, I know the lay-bys aren't the, the quietest, nicest places to stop in, but um, if in doubt, I think that's what I prefer. Anyway, you're not going to be able to see anything now because it's getting too dark. So, um, yeah. See you in a bit. Well, I'm here. Hurrah. Right. Um, I've got to sort out all my SD cards and upload all my footage. And then... Uh, I'm going to settle down for the night because it's about half past eight now. So um, 
Love and light guys. Hope you enjoyed the journey so far and um, I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and click the bell icon. If you want regular updates, head over to my website. Over there you'll see stay updated on every video. Put your email address in there and submit and you'll get a regular update to every video I upload. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Please like and subscribe and share the video and I'll see you in the next vid.